Hello everyone. This is Keertana from Kislo Professional Services team. Hope you're all doing good today. I'll be showing you the quick demo on the schedule sync between external system and the Kislo dataset. If you are using an on-prem system such as Oracle, SAP, Salesforce, etc., with a minimal exposure of APIs, and if you think that the data sync between Kislo and your external system is infeasible, here's a way within Kislo where we can bring the data from the external system into the Kislo dataset. If your external system is capable of sending the data that's required within Kislo in a CSV format, they can push the file into OneDrive, G Drive, SharePoint, SFTP server, etc. Kislo could access that file in a sequential manner and import the values into the Kislo dataset where the dataset can be used in the Kislo process. This way, the manual creation of data in both external system and Kislo can be avoided. Hence, it saves you time tremendously. For this demo, I have used OneDrive for receiving the files from the external system. Here you can see customer data CSV which is received from the external system and the values in it. We can also perform a condition based action within Kislow during the sync process. For example, here we can consider column E as a region code and if your external system doesn't have any region names for the region codes, but that might be helpful for you to have the region names within Kislow to use them in your process. During the sync process, we can validate the region codes and map the region names accordingly and the data will be populated in Kislow as such. Here you can see the region codes are different but the region names are mapped based on the region codes but these region names are not available in the CSV file which we are using to import. This can be achieved by using a middleman ranging from Google Apps Script to AWS Lambda Script based on your current infrastructure. Let me now jump into the live demo. Let me delete all the rows here to show you how the data flows into the data set. Customer list is the data set created within Kisflow to receive the data from the CSV file. Here is the CSV file with 14 records sent by the external system which we are using to import the records within Kisflow. As the number of records here are minimal, I have set the sync frequency to happen for every one minute. The sync frequency can be set based on the number of records within the CSV file. Let me now refresh the data set to check if the data has started flowing in. You can see all the 14 records are now imported with the data set. For any changes to the row values in the CSV file, the data will get updated to the data set during the next sync. Hope you find this useful. Thank you.